Well, today we're going on a uh, hike to the uh, Laguna Aguadilla. Uh, Guanaquilla. Ah, Guanaquilla. Laguna See, Guan Guanaquilla. Guanaquilla. And, uh, it's just near Bouye Beach. Yep, so you go down to the, uh, you park in the, in the parking area at uh, Bouye Beach and take a left. And uh, that's what everyone says you do. So we did that. I wasn't actually going to start filming yet because uh, wasn't, I didn't think it was interesting because of all the houses right here. But then I realized that it actually is interesting because, <laughs> because of all the houses. <laughs> so uh, just behind these little houses that are like right, right on the beach. Who knows how many times they've been knocked down by hurricanes. Yep. But uh, it's, uh, it's a little interesting here. It's like a funky little neighborhood, very bohemian. Yeah. And so is the beach. Probably, probably. probably these people have been here for generations right here on this beach. So uh, it's going to be an interesting hike today. Brought our lunch. And, uh, you know, from what we've seen from pictures, it's uh, just spectacular there. We actually, you know, we actually considered the prospect of renting kayaks and kayaking over here. And, uh, but then we were sort of, um, discouraged from that by the kayak rental people who told us that it's, not only is it a 45 minute kayak but you had to get there at high tide and it all depended upon what the tide level was about whether you could even uh, kayak into the lagoon so we decided to take the what they what they told us was a 35 minute hike there and uh, so off we, we wanted to make it several hours yeah we brought our lunch and uh, we're ready to ready to go there for a while and wow, check it out, these people are just sort of camping here, truck camping, Hola. truck camping on the beach. That's cool. Ooh, yay. Off we go. Getting here to a gate and uh, after to traverse the gate to the Punta Guanaguilla, Entrada. Super. Right. What a view. Check out that view. I wonder what this used to be. I don't know, some ruins here. And then our first glimpse of a lagoon. Laguna. Okay, bueno. Continuing down the trail. It was about, I don't know, 17 minutes to get to that overlook. Coming to a gate on this branch of the trail. So that may mean we have to go back. I'm going to walk around next to the water, but I guess that's not going to happen here. Yep. Well, we tried, man. Yeah, we tried, definitely. Oh, wow. Super nice private property here. Let's buy it. That they actually do a nice job of maintaining. As you can see here, grass is cut. Oh, it goes right down into the water. Wow, this mm -hmm. is super, super nice right here in the middle of this uh, nature reserve. But as they say, as it's uh, in the sign is connected to that post with barbed wire. They don't want you to come through here. <laughs> Look at the rain. We're gonna get wet. Not really prepared for that. There's actually a little sign telling which way to go. We don't really like to follow the signs. So we went the other way and lo and behold, we couldn't get through. But yeah, look at that rain. Woo! Look at it over here. Yeah, maybe we should have checked the weather. <laughs> but wow. Man, look at it though. We're going, we're going to get wet. Beautiful. And once we turned, the trail takes, the takes on a different nature here. Right this place has uh, been pretty well marked. Well, yep. Coming out into really our first look at the lagoon. And you see these tremendous, uh, really interesting, unfortunately I can't zoom in here, uh, rock formations over there. Coming down to the ocean. Wow, show goes both directions. Yep, it does because the other 
direction. We'll take us to the private property. Yeah. I say, let's go toward the private property. Of course. Of course. It doesn't say I can't. I mean, at the private property, I won't be able to get in, but at least I'll be able to get and see and experience this side, the ocean side of the trail. I'll clear it up a little bit. Only rained a little bit on us. Didn't get too wet. So I was super happy about that. Here we got the, uh, the mangroves right at the, the coastline. And uh, that's uh, pretty cool. Protecting the coastline. Protecting the coastline. Wow. You usually don't see them from this side. We've only seen from the other side, from the water side. Yeah, some coral here too. This is definitely, this is definitely coral. Yeah. Right next, right next to it. I don't think that's uh, more of a volcanic rock. But if uh, anyone knows the difference between those, and watch this video. If you put that in the comments, we'd be certainly super happy to uh, to learn something here. So here's an interesting piece of uh, brain coral that's washed up on the shore here. We flip it over there, you see sort of how it attaches to the uh, to the reef. So that's uh, that's pretty. pretty it's also got a shell there, and when you lifted it up, a little crab came running out of it. Uh, yeah. So someone was making this home. Wow, this is a really interesting cactus. Again, we're not uh, botanists or anything, but uh, these things that are on it are super interesting. Looks like it's a uh, sprouting new. Here's another really interesting shell. It's obviously been here for a very long time, bedded in the roots of this tree. Shell's getting a little rougher here. Another view, just a little further up the trail. Wow. Wow, just look at this. We came to the end of this branch of the trail, back to the private property. Now wherever they've uh, certainly closed it off, and uh, and that's it. So we'll go back. We'll go back around. But I'm sur I'm super glad we came here on this branch because it was uh, really really fascinating. It wasn't much, maybe half a mile. It was that. But, uh, obviously not too many people come this way anymore. This is just a tad in from the ocean. What's really interesting here is that there's a lot of these elkhorn corals just sitting here in this little dried, dry area. So I don't understand, once again, what really happened here. But uh, maybe it's an indicator of some point in time, maybe still, that there's a lot of elkhorn coral directly out behind us. How the snorkeling is here yeah. on those beaches. I don't know. We're a little further on. We're getting into the wet part of the lagoon. Ooh, look at these guys. Holy crap. It's an army of little itty bitty crabs. I don't know if you can see them here. Holy crap. <laughs> Here's the uh, Wet part of the lagoon. Wow, look at them all. We're Holy away crap. From us, aren't they? No, oh look at them. Oh my god. It's like a damn army. All well, those little crabs. My gosh. Let's see what happens I walk out here. Either they attack me or they run. They run. Let's uh, hope they don't attack me. There's too many of them to fight off. <laughs> look at them all. Oh my gosh. This is where the water comes from. There's thousands of them. This is where the water comes from. Yeah. Oh. oh, they're in the water and out. Yeah. If I can get a picture of one up close. Uh oh, here he is. Where'd he go? Oh, he went in a hole. I find one that's not in a hole. Right here. There we go. There's one. So here's a big termite's nest. And we've seen multiple of those on this on this hike. 
We've seen seen these things too, these mounds of now this one has a tree down next to it. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Look, you can see where you can see where the uh, the tree. Yep. You know. So it where, where, where sort of it seems to prove the your tree. theory that that's what they are, and maybe once they fall down, they can't use it anymore. They just abandon it. No longer maintain it. So and go it looks, make so a it new looks one. A little, looks a little different. Yeah, you can see the tree, and here's another tree branches embedded right inside in. it. Yeah. So these are uh, these are termite nests that fell out of the tree. Case dead tree probably they, they took a uh, ate too much wood and therefore killed their own home. But check out the tree. Follow. It's got like a trails that went up to where. Oh it yeah. Oh was. wow. Check it out. Yeah. These little. This As little they were trail. building, making their way up. Wow. So it was probably up there, and that's where it got so heavy. Probably. Yeah. And the tree they, became they, was damaged and dead, and eventually fell. Yep. It probably also eats inside the tree. Yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, the tree is the host. Yeah. So it they... damages the tree and kills its own home yeah. eventually. And we keep seeing these things, which are almost perfectly circular. Almost looks like, from a distance, it almost looked like it was a, uh, you know, a trunk of a tree that had, uh, you know, fallen over and then over the years, you know, eroded. However, there's no trees this size around. And there's no fallen trunk. Actually, there is. But that might um, be from this tree. That's from here. But look at this. These, these have all these holes in, in the side of it. So this was, this is nature, some creature made. See all those holes? I mean, they're almost, they're all identical. Now, these, these are super cool, too. Whatever makes these. And if you know, please put it in the comments. Please. Going down into the overlook. What are we doing right here? Finally made it around. Ooh. Ooh, and there it is. There's those rocks right there. Wow. Wow. And this is why you rent a kayak to come out and get close to those, close to those rocks. Wow. Look at that. My goodness. And down here along the shore. But that is just, wow, that's just a fact. That's just fabulous. So much better if we had kayaks. You can see uh, those little water lines there, like three foot higher. So I don't know if it's uh, low tide now or not. Maybe we wouldn't be able to get in. But whoa! Well, this is saying there's a high risk of seismic seismic activity here. So uh, oh, look at this! Wow, look at this! Wow! Wow! I can just feel the coolness coming off of this area here. Wow! I'm lagging behind to take Okay. Wow. This is super cool. Wow. I'm not going to go in much further than this, but I guess I could. Wonder if I see light on the other side there. Did you go up? I did go up. Wow. I take back what I said about this being the boring part. Yeah, and this is uh, super, super, oh, jeez. Oh, check out the bird. Right above my head. Really? I can't see it. Can you still see it? Yeah, he's on the uh, vine. There's a high risk of seismic activity. Yeah, this is incredible. Totally squishing you in this. This is the cueva. Wow. I'm not going any further. There's too much bat dung in here, but uh, oh, this is uh, super, super cool. And, and it is cool, actually, temperature-wise. 
Okay, I walked in further. She convinced me to go in here past all the bat dung. But, wow, uh, look at that. That's looking up. Holy crap. Wow. Some rocks that are just teetering on the edge there. So, that's, that's going to be enough for me. What is that thing? Just a vine? Vine. Wow. wow. Look at this. Some rockworm caused that. That's a big, that's the biggest rockworm hole I've seen. Oh, I love this shot. There we go. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> It's just incredible. It is incredible. What a surprise. Now we're heading up to the Cueva Cofresi. It still mentions the seismic activity. Yeah. Well, we are in that area of the island. Oh. Whoa. This is the Cueva Cofresi. That is pretty darn deep. That is at least 15, 20 feet down to the first ledge here. Probably can't see here. But, oh man, get a little better here. Careful, I gotta go ahead. No, no, oh my. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna turn you upside down. If you look under this way. And, there's even more over here. Oh. oh wow, we can actually go down into this one. Maybe if we want. Going in. <laughs> Turn it off while I climb on down here. Hey, okay, there you can see the other side, so I can actually get down to the deep, deep part from here. It's up here, and we got the got Lisa climbing on down. <laughs> Not easy, no. but there's lots of footholds and lots of handholds, so that's helpful. That's that one. Oh, here we are. There she is. She made it in. Wave Oh, it keeps going. Yeah, I think it, uh, this connects to the, uh, the the thing on the other side there. We could actually get in down there if you wanted, but. Used to climbing out. Here's the rock formation of this is, is in. Super cool. This is just incredible. Even more up here, a little further along on the trail and the path. Wow, look at that. Let's see if I can capture that in the picture here without killing myself. Wow. Look at that. This is just just incredible. Okay. And just another cave like structure here. This has been one of the most interesting hikes we've ever done. Other than the type of rock, this part of the trail reminds me a lot of places we hike all the time in Vermont. It's incredible. Look at these rocks here. It was Neanderthal. Yeah. And then here we are. Ah, huh, this is what you want. Here we are out on the, the 
the low water level part of the lagoon. Wow, look at these rocks. Holy heck. Yeah. I'm sure I can't capture this on video, but man, it's just amazing. Yep, and have a little bit of a boardwalk here. Sun's out now. Get a nicer, uh, nicer view of the, the rocks in the middle of the lagoon, the ocean in the distance. Uh, just it was just, uh, gosh, just stunning today. Well, that was a fabulous hike yep. around Laguna Guanaquilla and through this whole nature reserve. We went off on every offshoot that you possibly could, except the last one that Bob just now wanted to do, and I said my legs were too tired. Yeah, we came we came through the lagoon and the rocks, which I saw pictures of. It was just absolutely gorgeous. But uh, you know that that was only that was only part of the you know intrigue and interest and uh, and super fascinating hike. This was this was actually one of you know the best hikes I've ever done in my life, actually. Yep. You know because of you know the, all of the different. The things here we got to see the sea, you got to see the lagoon, you know, the rocks, the caves. The caves were just spectacular and unexpected. And un certainly they were unexpected. like this bonus. We yeah. saw the caves right after I said, Well, I guess we're just at the boring part of the hike now going back. And then suddenly, pow, the right. caves, the, th the thousands of crabs, you know, it's just uh, wow, this, the is, giant, this is fabulous. The I giant frog. Yep. <laughs> I mean, uh, we're, we're, we're approaching now about three hours and 45 minutes. You know, we did spend 30 minutes talking to our kid in uh, England who got notified by the NHS that they were in close contact with someone from Omicron. So we had to uh, talk to them while their, while their COVID test came back negative. Good. Uh, but, uh, you know, other than that, you know, having lunch, you know, we've been exploring for, you know, solidly three hours. So, uh, you know, we, we did go off on every side path. You know, it, you can do it much quicker if you just go around the loop. But... You know, if you're if you're in Puerto Rico, this is certainly well worth the stop, don't you think? Yes, the one thing I learned is that even in Puerto Rico, I should carry in my backpack a long sleeve shirt and a rain jacket because we were in some pretty heavy rain at the beginning and it made me realize that if it rained the whole time, we could actually get cold even here in Puerto Rico and that we have to take the same precautions as we would hiking in the summertime in Colorado. I was just going to get wet. I didn't care. But, uh, <laughs> Anyhow, this is, a, this is a great place to stop. You know, we're going to now go and hit the beach here at uh, Bouye Beach. Uh, so you can make a day of it just like us. Morning for the hike, the afternoon for the, for the beach. Which has a vendor with pina coladas, which we've earned. Yes, we've definitely earned those guys. So anyhow. So until next time, may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of our next adventures. Hasta luego.